Today I've chosen this challenge because it is great for demonstrating three common table transformations, as well as custom sorting with a clear and simple dataset. We need to move departments from columns to rows, branches from rows to columns, and the names from values to a separate column. Let's start by importing the data to the Power Query editor. First, we need to transform our columns into rows. Select the columns you want to keep, then use the Unpivot Other Columns button. This will convert them into rows. Let's rename the new columns right here to avoid unnecessary steps later. You can reorder them by dragging their headers with the mouse. Next, we need to add the word branch before the numbers in our first column. To do this, let's manually create a new step. We'll use the table transform columns function here. The first argument is our table name, followed by a comma. The second argument is a list of transformations we want to apply. This is enclosed in curly brackets. Inside the curly brackets, we specify the column we want to transform, our branch number column, followed by a comma. Then we use the keyword each, which represents each value in the column. Next, we type the desired text, branch, including a space after the word, followed by an ampersand symbol. And then, text from, open the bracket, underscore, close the bracket. This combines the text branch with the existing numeric value in the column, converting it to text format. Great, now it's time to add marks. To do this, add a custom column by clicking add column and then custom column. In the formula box, type an equal sign followed by any symbol in parentheses. Next, we need to move branches from rows to columns. This is where the pivot column option will help us a lot. Select the branch column, click pivot, set the value column to mark, and in advanced options choose don't aggregate. This will rearrange the data so that each branch becomes a column. How awesome is that? The table is totally transformed. Now the last part of the task is adding some custom sorting. We need to sort the data as you see above. To achieve this, I'll show you a little trick. In our unpivot step, the data is actually sorted just as we need, so we can use that. To apply the order, we need to manually modify the table sort function, change the arguments to each list position of unpivot department. Then repeat with the names. And it's ready. See ya.